getting ready to do brake lines on my street rail project. And when you get your brake tubing, it's in coils like this. And it's rather hard to get perfectly straight by hand. You can buy a tubing straightener anywhere from $90 to $200. $300. Or you can make one with $13 worth of rollers, uh, $14 worth of rollers, yeah, something like that. And a bunch of odds and ends out of the shop. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. Alright. These steel three holes. This is just a piece of three quarter inch square tubing. Just what I had around the shop. This is what will end up being the top bar. It gets two holes drilled in it. This is drilling the two 516 holes for the uh, alignment adjustment pins with the wing nuts on them. And same thing again, another washer. Well, I believe it works. You have to run it back and forth through there a few times and you have to get the pressure right. If it's too tight, it tends to curve it just a little bit on the end coming out. Good enough for me. Well, that's it. Seems to work pretty good. If I was going to do it again, I might order rollers that have a little bit bigger diameter. But these do work pretty good. If they're a little bit bigger, it might roll easier when you first put it in there and it's got a lot of curves in it. The uh, bolts are just metric bolts. Uh, I think that's a 4 millimeter bolt. There's a washer underneath each one of these rollers to clearance it from the uh, square tubing. Uh, the square tubing is just three quarter square tubing that I had in the shop. These bolts are both 5 16 with wing nuts to adjust the tension. And it's as simple as that to make one. I didn't want to go out and spend a hundred dollars or more for something that I was going to use on this project and probably never use again or maybe use once or twice. This works perfectly fine for what I need. So uh, go out in the shop and make something. You don't have to make one of these, but just get out there and make something.
Makes you feel good. Thanks for watching. The bolts, those bolts are six millimeter. I don't know how many other mistakes I've made in this video, but that's one. One other mistake I made in the video, I don't know what mark that was, but it wasn't the mark where the hole needed to be.